Hello and welcome to another episode of From the Helm here on day two at the Resources Rising Stars Conference live on the Gold Coast. I'm Grady Wolf, Market Analyst with Bell Direct and I'm excited to be joined for the first time in a while by Mark Duclair, the Managing Director of Astral Resources. Mark, it's good to see you again. Hi, likewise. Thanks for having us on. So can you give us an update on the uh, Mandilla Gold Project, which is your flagship project in Kalgoorlie, Tier 1 Gold Mining Jurisdiction of Australia? Yeah, so we're actually currently drilling at the moment. We're doing an infill program, so there's probably 14,000 metres of drilling, and that's just aimed on converting our inferred resources into indicated. So we are working on a pre-feasibility, and we just want to have the biggest amount of indicated ounces possible to push out the largest uh, reserve as part of that study. Now, Mandela and Austral, as it is, have been compared to the likes of Capricorn metals by different analysts out there. Do you see the comparisons, and what, they, what are the comparisons in your opinion? Yeah, I think I was rather cheekily comparing us to M Mount Gibson, so Capricorn's yeah. uh, project they're looking to develop now. And I did that for a while in my slide decks. And <laughs> the re reality is it's because we're at 1.3 grams per tonne, they're at 0.9. I think their strip ratio is 4.2 and we're at 5.8. But the thing is when you put a 1.3 gram ore body at current spot price, there's an extra $36 worth of revenue yeah. and mining movement's only about $7.50 to square up that change in strip ratio. So I think it's a great analogy and other than on scale, I think we look better. And what were the results of the uh, scoping study announced last year? So we announced the scoping study which was producing 845,000 ounces. The first seven and a half years was an average of 100,000 ounces per annum, yeah, 1.3 grams per tonne. We used $2,100 for the design price environment and $2,750 for revenue. So um, even in that scenario, the internal rate of return was 73%. If I use spot, it's 140%. With the spot price, there's a net present value, even using an 8% discount rate of over a billion dollars and 1.5 billion in free cash flow. So yeah, the project stacked up really, really well. And what is your development plan for the overall project and how does a Phaseville project fit into the development plan as well? So we are working on the pre-feasibility and keen to put that into the market, I don't know, March, April next mm -hmm. year. And um, as part of that, I want to have this trajectory where the scoping was at 845,000 ounces, let's say. I want to be substantially over a million by the time yeah. we get to pre-phase and then I want the DFS to be bigger than that. So. I want an upward facing trajectory, not a downward one. <laughs> so that's what we're working on. And Faisal gives us high grade ounces close to surface that we can feed into the schedule really early on and that will drive improved financial metrics. And what's the next steps for the project towards that um, feasibility study out next year? Yeah, so Faisal resources out later this month. Yep. So that'll be Think Big, Rogan Josh and Camper Man. Mm -hmm. We are doing, because our projects are so close together and they're right next to Kalgoorlie, so it's really simple to do work out there. We're doing four to five weeks of drilling at Thea as part of Mandilla and then coming back to Faisal and doing two weeks of drilling. We're going to do this four weeks on, two weeks on mm -hmm. between the two projects all the way out to the end of the year. So that'll give us additional growth at Faysville and Mandela leading into that study that we'll look to deliver. Absolutely. And why should investors consider Austral Resources as, a, as an investment idea in this current market environment? Uh, look, I think uh, I, when if I look at the junior space, we are still relatively undervalued compared to the producer peer group. And whilst it's been a long slog these last three years in the market, certainly gold is looking really positively at the moment. And we've done the work to demonstrate that we are one of the few developers in our P group that can be a genuine 100,000 ounce per annum producer. And that's certainly worthwhile in, of investing into. Mark Duclair, thank you for your time today and Austral Resources for this episode of From the Helm. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did filming it. If you did, why not subscribe to the Resources Rising Stars and Bell Direct YouTube channels. <laughs>